I played two years at Liscombe University. I, I learned so much. I just grew so much in my faith there. It was really hard to leave, but I just, I really felt called to go. So I transferred here. I packed up all my things and I moved to Bowling Green. So we got here in July and we had team camp, which is sun up to sundown. I'm with this high school team, never met them. Well, we were um, planning going to team camp and uh, they assigned us a Western player to work with our team. And we were paired up with Kendall and I thought there was an immediate connection with my team. It was just, it was fun. And I enjoyed team camp where most of my teammates weren't as fortunate and have an awesome team who can rap Purplicious <laughs> for their talent show. I talked to her, I said, well, we would love to have you work with our team if it's a possibility. So that's how it all started. I said, this is, this is what I'm here for. This is, this is why I'm here. This is my purpose in Bowling Green. But I'm so thankful that these girls have been encouraging to me and I can also be encouraging to them. Yeah, I feel like everybody this year has been super encouraging and Kendall's been coming and teaching us about servant leadership. And this year especially, I feel like I've seen like a ways that all the players have kind of served each other and help out with team things like picking up the balls or staying after to pick up pennies or just serving each other on and then off the field, just being friendly at school and encouraging. So now I'm leading FCA at school and just getting to share with everybody at school, not just on the team. I was asked to be an MVP, kind of like an intern, just learning what discipling others looks like. And so I'm meeting with another FCA staff and she's been teaching me like the different steps to lead a huddle and disciple others. And so that's been cool to see Kindle like show that so well so that like once I've complete this training, then I can go and be a character coach for other teams. And so I can be like Kindle. <laughs> When I met Kendall, she was she was very caring. Like Coach Correa said, um, she made sure you you were cared about. Everyone, you know, was a part of everything. She was just a great role model. Um, I really looked up to her on and off the field. Just how she talked to people and presented herself. With her coming to our practices and leading us and asking us these questions, getting everybody involved, I believe it really has helped me want to be more like her and spread the word as she's doing for our team. Before the trip, I had texted Kendall with plans that I knew I wanted to carry a lesson with us without her physically coming with us. And so I hadn't personally led a lesson by myself. I wasn't too sure on how I should go about that. So I texted Kendall, asked her if she could help me, you know, write something out. And that's what I did. Um, and I read it before one of our games. And I think it just got everybody in good, good hopes and spirits before we played. Kendall's kind of gone to that next level of commitment. You know, she's had the girls over. She's tried to make quite a few practices, does a great job as a leader. You know, you can just see when she comes down, you know, the kids are running over there to her and they're giving her hugs and, and there's just a little bit deeper connection. I think it has brought them closer to each other and, and God. I don't think it's any secret to anyone, but being a student athlete, especially at the college level, is, is tough. It's very, very tough to put your your identity and your worth into a sport when in reality it comes from the Father and the Father only. So being at Western, it has challenged me and it has rewarded me because I've learned and I've grown so much in ways that I didn't know I could and I didn't know I had the strength to. I'm just excited how FCA can benefit our program, other programs around the state, and we're just very lucky to have uh, Kendall as part of our program.